Are you dreading the CE hours that you're about to put in? If you're like me, you got multiple state licenses. And of course, with all these state licenses require maintenance. And typically that maintenance has to do with hours and hours of continuous education uh, every year. And as it should, you know, you definitely need to have... Um, you know, modernize training techniques or at least the understanding of what the real rules and regulations are to practice within this industry. And if everyone else could do it, everyone would, right? If it was easy to do it, everyone would be in this sport because of how much money and how much return you actually get in, uh, in being a good mortgage loan officer. And so in this episode, I want to relate with you because I'm going through my CE and I got about, I want to say about 20 different licenses. So, I mean, you look at the dashboard of your training module and you're just like, damn, I got so much. And of course it's the, it's the kind that it doesn't let you you know what I mean? Like fast forward the section. So you gotta literally sit it out and go through it. And so we constantly have to go through this. Every single year we go through this. We went through it last year. For those of you who've been licensed for a couple of years, you went through it the year before and then even did it before you got licensed. And you know, as I'm going through this and you know, you hear the talks within your within your scenery or within your environment about the opinions from other mortgage loan officers. You might even hear the opinion from your, you know, your sales manager, your team leader. And what I'm hearing most is, oh man, look at all these hours. But what I'm also hearing, and this is because I, I work on a, on a pretty big sales floor, you know, and I'm hearing from some loan officers, even from some team leads, that, oh man, this state probably isn't gonna be worth it, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. And, oh man, is it really even worth it to pay for this extra one or to really, to really renew this license if I'm not getting any return? And it, it brought up a very interesting point to me and I want to put everything in perspective for all of us who are at this stage, right? Because we are heavily influenced by our circle. I believe that to the absolute fullest. If there are three powerful things that push you, it's, uh, it's, it's basically, it's your family, it's your friends, and it is your ego. Bottom line. Those three things are very, very, very powerful because they have to do with all three main components of what actually trigger our emotion. And those three components, if you remember, it's love, fear, and status, right? Like, so if you've been watching the, the Sales Remaster channel for quite some time, you understand that I believe in three uh, primary ingredients that if you can learn, if you can truly identify within any prospect, you'll be able to not only persuade them to buy what you have, but you'll be able to persuade them to buy at whatever price, whatever rate, whatever fee that you give. You have this, uh, this unconditional locked uh, bond with that particular person because you've read them in a way that no other salesperson has read them. And so it applies to us. <laughs> it applies to us too, boo-boo. And I'm going to share with you how. So number one is, um, you know, as you go into conducting your CE, and if you've gotten to a point where you're thinking about, man, is this even worth the time, bro? Is this even worth my time? Should I redo this? This costs money, blah, blah, blah. I want you to really analyze why you think that way. And you may think that way be just because of, as of late, you know, you hear a lot of these stories about the market and, um, you know, business slowing down and, and, and a lot of people are jumping out of the industry. You know, crazy fact is a lot of uh, NMLS licensed individuals who were licensed two years ago, almost half are not licensed today. They are in a completely different industry. And I wanna share with you something because sometimes in, in the midst of negativity, it's very hard to find the silver lining. And sometimes the silver lining will just make that much of a difference where you'll be able to excel within your current state, within your current environment, and within your current um, access of, of resources, right? With your current resources available. And so here's the silver lining is that even though, right, even though a lot of people jumped out and may have not done this or may not be doing this sport anymore. And the sport I'm talking about is is licensed lending uh, as a mortgage loan officer. I'm talking not like with a bank or what have you. Let me fix this right quick. <laughs> but I'm talking about as a licensed mortgage banker or um, like a, a mortgage broker. Regardless, purchase or refinance. The silver lining is that is that two years ago, you know, the market was at a point where you didn't need to know how to sell. You didn't need to be good at what you did in order to earn the amount of money that you were earning. And so when things change and just the slightest change 
of the market that required the licensed agent to know how to persuade, know how to sell, and know how to be patient, they folded. They absolutely folded and their income changed. It changed so much that they couldn't sustain it. And so therefore, they, they went through this ride of trying to find the greener side. And so they would go here because they were given a bonus, or they would go here because their friends said, oh, this is the new spot. And again, you're influenced, right? You, you're influenced by either your friends, your family, or your ego. At any given time, you are influenced by those three things. And, and, and it's not just gonna be a positive influence. Sometimes it could be a negative influence, you know? So like your, for example, your friends, your, they could be positive and negative influence. So your friends could be within your circle or in your work environment. And they have this negative response of that particular company. And they could be saying, oh man, over here they do this, they do that, right? And so that could be a negative influence from a friend who, who supposedly cares about you. And, and you may be influenced to jump on that vibe, to jump on that energy. And what happens is it trickles throughout the rest of your, you know, throughout the rest of your life because you're like, yeah, you know what, he's right, yeah, man, or she's right, yeah, man, fuck this, fuck that, blah, blah, blah. You know, you get on this, this, this kind of this level where you start seeing everything in, in a different light and then it's, you're, you're, you're short tempered, you become more frustrated, you start to become more, uh, more whiny right and I want to say whiny because that's all it is is whenever you try and find an excuse and you blame that excuse you just you're whining bro like you got to adapt and look at the resources around you and just snap the fuck out of it but anyway your friends can do that family can do that shit too family could be the one you reference so you'd be like oh man you know does uh my family thinks that I need to do this man I should do that because my family has been there for me this entire time my family told me don't put all my eggs in one basket and don't try so hard I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna listen to it so sometimes your family could be a negative influence and then of course your ego your ego fuck that shit could fuck you up <laughs> because you know you may think like oh man I've been doing this for a while I got this I don't need no help I don't need no mentor I don't need no coaching Oh, oh man, this guy on sale, blah, blah, blah. Like every hater that's ever commented on the free shit that I give out, that's, a, <laughs> that's fucking ego for that ass, right? You know, people go out of their way to leave a negative comment about some shit that's for free. Boo-boo, keep it moving, right? Like at the end of the day, you, got, you had a choice. You gave me all the time to watch a video and then you gave me a couple more minutes after that just to leave your negative input. Boo-boo, kick rocks. But anyway, ego can be a negative influence, but ego can also be a positive influence because your ego is something that you have a choice to, to put into effect. And so you could put your ego behind you or you could, put it, you could put it down for a minute. The reason why I bring this up at a point where I'm talking about CE, continued education, is because we're going to be facing these things. It's either our friends or our family or our ego that's gonna determine how we look at it. And so we can look at it like, uh, like, well, you know, me and my friends aren't going to be renewing their licenses, or my friends jumped out of the industry, <laughs> right? Or, man, my family been telling me that 2008 was bad, so the real estate game is probably going to bust. You know, this burble's this burble, this bubble's probably going to pop. Maybe I should listen to my family, right? Or your ego, man, fuck this, man, I, I, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get into Bitcoin. <laughs> Man, fuck this, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get back into this one game where I can make a hundred thousand dollars in a month, right? It's that ego making you believe that you hit this level of six-figure status and you're entitled to that six-figure income. When in reality, what you what the what you were, you were you just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And so then you, it's kind of like a junkie, right? Like you're always kind of chasing that that first high, that first rush. And those three things are going to stand in your way in, in, in helping you make that decision. But here's, a, here's an answer or here's a solution that will help you make this decision easier. But more importantly, it's going to justify the amount of time and hours that you put in. And so what I want you to think about is how much income do you need to make? Not only that, but why you need to make that much income. Because there's a lot of people out there right now that believe they need six-figure income, but wouldn't even know what to fucking do with it. <laughs> They'd be like, do you really need six figures, boo-boo? And sometimes, again, that's ego that gets in your way, and you're like, dude, I got to make six figures. I got to make, but why? Right? Have you ever, do you know why? Have you written down on the page, like, why? And, and the reason why it's, it's important to understand your why is because you might very well go through your reason and then find out that you need 50 grand a year just for alcohol. 
or you need a hundred grand a year just for randomness you know what i mean like like uh like hobbies or what have you and so you you're looking at this full amount and you're just like oh man i i really don't need it because these are not these are not m motivational enough reasons that will keep me focused in my game right like like there's there you know just like i said that friends family and ego may stand in your way they may also lift you up and so you might very well do it for a friend because you are their accountability partner and maybe both of you guys are enrolled in some sort of course or some sort of boot camp or some sort of training program and both of you guys hold each other accountable or you know family can also push you in the right direction because it could be very it could very well be your family is your why right like you have to support your family you got to take care of your mom you got to take care of your dad you got to take care of your kids you got to take care of your wife your family that will push you right that that will be probably the strongest motivational factor now ego is probably the hardest thing to get past because sometimes we think we're too we're, we're above things right like oh I'm, t I'm too good for that or oh, I'm, I'm beyond that and so therefore we won't dabble into something that could ultimately light our fire and open up a door for us and so our ego might stand in the way but how does ego how does ego push you ego pushes you because it's directly related to your status and so if your status is important to you if your six-figure status is important to you if that brand name status is important to you then you need to identify why it's important to you because it makes you feel some kind of way because it, it it enables you to get just that much more confident and when you're just that much more confident your your production morale and income boosts along with it right like it's it's uh it's like that saying like dress the part that you want to be right and so sometimes you'll see some people just flossed out like dressed up to the nines is because they're getting their self into that mental state and then you'll see some people who just don't really care about what they dress like it's because they don't necessarily need to lean on that and so to each his own but find your reason why like what what are you wearing look at me bro i'm i'm sporting you know what i mean like there's a reason for this is because it it holds me accountable sometimes and so i'm like all right well if i put money into that i better use that does that make sense and so and so pay attention to those three things. And when you're going through your CE, I want you to renew every single one. I want you to renew every single one because you need to earn what you, what it is you want. And so if you if you're if you're wanting business everywhere and anywhere, you it's in your best benefit to be licensed anywhere and everywhere, especially if your company pays for it. But more importantly, give yourself the opportunity you need and position yourself properly so that you can capitalize on the opportunity. Because keep in mind that like again, like I said, two years ago, half of the people that were licensed are no longer even in the industry. That just means less mouths to feed. That just means people are are now exiting, right, in an area that used to be so saturated with competition that now you, being a seasoned veteran, are going up against people who are just getting into the game for the very first time. And so this could be your opportunity to shine, but more importantly, take over the market share that you possibly could have lost simply because you were competing with giants or you competing with uh, so many different companies that which now have shut down or closed down. And so you become a commodity, you become this this rare commodity now. Like, oh man, this is a seasoned person, everyone else I'm dealing with just got their license, <laughs> right? Like your license number is only six numbers, <laughs> right? Your license number starts with a one, right? But it's nine numbers and shit, but anyway, where I'm getting at is is understand your leverage, and I want to give you some leverage. I want to help you make this decision easier. I uh, you know I told you that there's going to be a special announcement in September. I can't wait, so I'm making that announcement right now, right here, and that is the enrollment special that I have is live right now. Click the link below that goes to Sales Remaster University, and the close you can actually enroll at fifty percent off for a limited time. I'm calling this the back to school special. And the close is gonna give you all the tools that you need to start to start closing some deals, regardless of the rate, regardless of the price. It's gonna show you how to market. It's gonna show you how to outbound. It's gonna show you how to inbound. It's gonna show you how to 
how to frame your clothes, how to transition to a pitch, how to get the business and create urgency. But more importantly, it's going to show you um, the different objections that you need to get acquainted with, you need to get familiar with because in this market, there's these objections that are going to ultimately stop you from growing. It's going to stop you from getting to the level that you need to get to unless you are prepared. And so I'm telling you, get prepared. Here's an opportunity right now to get a course 50% off. That's fucking bananas because number one is it was it, it was worth it to begin with at full price but I want you to get a gander and I want the reviews I want I want I want the the excitement to get back into your mind of, of, of you having a new tool and having a new resource and I want you to share it with your friends you know if you if times are tough right now and you can't afford the hundred ninety seven dollars to enroll into this course at fifty percent off then go find four people everyone chip in 50 bucks like if it's that bad like get creative right like think outside the box but get your hands on this course and put the tools inside you know in your in your feed that will show you how to how to replicate and imagine i mean how many how much money do you make off of one sale how much extra money would you make off of five extra sales per month? How about 10 extra sales per month? What if you knew a way that can help you release a lot of the stress, release a lot of the tedious, pro the tedious steps within your process and teach you how to efficiently do your job to, to increase the amount of production and return that you get from it? How much would that be worth to you? I guarantee you it's going to be worth more than $197. More importantly, if you, if you knew how to... Uh, get that much closer to six figures or at least five figures per month. Do you believe that's worth 197 bucks? You're probably gonna send, spend 197 dollars just on fucking lunch this week. You're probably gonna spend 197 dollars just on 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 dinner this weekend, right? Or spend it at the bar, right? You spend it on something that's not gonna give you the return. And here's an opportunity for you to get the return. So click the link below and uh, go to Sales Your Master University. Look at the program. The close is on an enrollment special, not the secret formula. The secret formula is a grand scale package, you know. Um, uh, but get a gander at the close, and if you like it, then learn how to get into uh, the secret formula. But hit me up directly so that way I can get you a connection to the secret formula. But here's your opportunity right now. Take advantage of the back to school special. Click the link below and learn more about it. I'll see you inside. Bye. Let me show you everything I know.